Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on Understanding IT channel. Today I'm gonna briefly touch such interesting topic in 5G such as numerology. So what does it mean numerology? For what reason we have to use it in uh, 5G and R? And how exactly does it work? So basically Numerology is when we have different subcarrier spacing, is when we can configure different cells with different subcarrier spacing. And as a result, we can have different symbol duration. So we can adapt even physical layer in 5G and R for different use cases, for different uh, quality of service requirements. As you can see from this table, uh, with narrow subcarrier spacing, uh, we have a pretty huge symbol duration and cyclic prefix duration, as in LTE, by the way. And it helps us to mitigate, to combat inter-symbol interference, and as a result, have a long distance cell size but it affects negatively uh, on speed and latency because scheduling mechanism operates in time domain and uh, as we have a symbol, uh, uh, such huge symbol duration and just 10 slots per subframe, scheduling works not so fast. So with narrow subcarrier spacing, we can have uh, large cells uh, to cover uh, huge areas, uh, rural areas, let's say, and uh, we can implement it. Uh, we can implement such um, applications such as Internet of Things applications, let's say. Yeah? And opposite things when it comes to wider subcarrier spacing. With wider subcarrier spacing, we have very short uh, slot duration a simple duration and slow duration because we have huge amount of slots per subframe and it helps scheduling works faster because it works in a time domain yeah so it affects positively on latency latency becomes lower and speed we can um, configure we can have much more high throughput on cell and uh, user equipment throughput. So, um, but, but it affects negatively again to cell size. With wider subcarrier spacing, we have, we can configure only small cells. So, uh, as you can see, there, um, there is a kind of a trade-off between uh, different use cases and requirements. So, um, and by the way, in 5G and R, with wider subcarrier spacing, we can, uh, we can create a radio equipment uh, with lower phase noise, especially it's good for high bands, high frequency bands, yeah? And this low phase noise can help us to have uh, high uh, signal to noise ratio so again it affects positively on speed as a result so as you can see it is a kind of a trade-off between um, speed and cell size between inter-symbol interference and uh, latency so um, as 5G is all about flexibility, we can even have a flexible physical layer for different, different use cases, for different requirements. And, and that's, um, by the way, uh, goes hand in hand with such topic as uh, bandwidth part concept, where we can have uh, different subcarrier spacing uh, within each bandwidth part, yeah? yeah. Bandwidth part is when user equipment does, doesn't have to work with 
the whole bandwidth with the whole cell bandwidth yeah uh, UE can support only a part of bandwidth and these different bandwidths can have different subcarrier spacings and of course can be used for different use cases so it becomes um, more interesting and interesting each time and I guess that's all for today uh, that's enough with that such quite an interesting topic if you have any question you can email me uh, you can find any links and my email address um, in the description of my channel. So stay tuned, like and subscribe.